What's going on, Ranking Family? Welcome back to another beautiful property tour. Today, we are looking at Design Tech Homes right here in Willis, Texas, north of Houston. Now, this is the first time we've ever seen this builder, and I think you're going to absolutely love it. Now, this is being built in Republic Grand Ranch. Now, this is where they have acreage, where they have space away from your neighbors. So if this is something you want to partake in, you can certainly do so by reaching out. But of course, I have showcased Partners in Building. It's over there a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little bit over there. Um, that's a Partners in Building model house that I had showcased some months back, but I really want to get you inside here. So you do have this circular driveway right here, which I absolutely love, which is fantastic. A lot of folks love it, especially if you tend to entertain quite a bit. This is certainly an option for you. Now on the exterior, you if you notice, you have this nice sloped covered front porch. I absolutely love that. We have a composition roof. We have stucco plus wood exterior and it's absolutely fantastic i love the color variations inside of here really gives it more of that modern feel now going into the covered front porch you are going to have that oversized pivot door and if you notice you have access over there as well and then of course around to the right we are going to have the garage but let's go ahead and get inside i, I don't want to hold you too long so let's go take a look at the foyer itself now, this is going to be the foyer. The one thing you'll notice right here is that you are going to have the tray ceilings on top and the beautiful chandelier coming down. But before we go into the great room, let's start right here to the right. You are going to have your nice, beautiful study, perfect for as soon as you enter. I mean, a lot of times, a lot of folks love to have the study immediately when you enter or somewhere sectioned off where you have a little bit more privacy, especially if you're working from home if you're in that situation, this is certainly perfect. Now, inside of here, you are going to have the vinyl wood flooring, which is unique. We don't really see that too often, but what we'll do is let's go ahead and take a look at the great room. Wow. Absolutely fantastic, folks. So you have the 20 foot ceilings inside of here, two wagon wheel chandeliers, one over the kitchen island and one over the great room. You have these sliders, the clear story windows on top. You have the tile exterior on the fireplace. It's an electric fireplace, floor to ceiling. You have these indentions right here for some decoration, some shelving, which I absolutely love. And then let's go ahead and start in the kitchen. So in the kitchen, you are gonna have these stack cabinets on top. You have that herringbone style backsplash. Again, we've seen that before. Uh, with Jamestown Estate Homes. And you have the cabinet crowns on top, the white cabinetry with the black hardware, and it extends a little bit over here as well. So some folks may like the cabinetry to be extended over here. If not, this is a completely custom home. So we can see about other options as far as just having it as maybe drywall or another accent if you want. But you do have this oversized island right here. Look how much storage space you have. Not to mention all along the island itself, you have more cabinetry, which I absolutely love. You have quartz countertops in here. You have plenty of space in your drawers. You got soft closing drawers and cabinets. And just look at that. And the amount of space you have in here is fantastic. And then I believe, let's verify, this should be the refrigerator. Okay, yes it is. Look how sleek that is. Got some Mandelos in here. Wow, and soft closing, uh, a soft closing uh, refrigerator, which I love. And then down here, of course, you should have your freezer. Yep, absolutely. So I love the sleekness of that. That's one of the things you'll notice. A lot of times we see stainless steel, um, the refrigerator appliances, but if you notice, you have the Z-Line appliance as far as this stovetop. So continuing along right here, we are gonna have our breakfast nook. You can utilize this as an informal dining room just because of the amount of space that you have in here. And I love it. You have your wine area over here with the recessed lighting coming down, which I love. And this is amazing. So this is a custom plan, like I mentioned. And if it's something where you wanna go ahead and add some windows right there, that certainly is an option, which I see a lot of folks maybe possibly opting for that just in case. 
So continuing along right here, we are gonna have our walk-in pantry. Look how much shelving we have in here. The wood flooring extends in here as well. And then let's go ahead and start here and then we'll go upstairs. So this is gonna be our first bedroom right here. You have a king size bed, two oversized nightstands, and just look how much space you have in here. Wow, you really cannot get much better than this. So you certainly have a lot of walk room. The one thing you can do is opt for maybe smaller nightstands. So that way you don't really have to worry about it being snug against the wall, but really just depends. So right here, we do have the tall mirror with the mirror frames. Absolutely fantastic. White cabinetry with the black hardware. We have quartz countertops. Oh, the quartz countertops in here. The tile shower surround with the shower niche. So, I mean, I'm, I'm loving it so far. I love some of these custom home builders. They do such a fantastic job, in my opinion, of, you know, taking account a lot of the details. So, if you know these other builders, these track builders, you know, some of the like the Perry homes, the Coventry homes, they have fantastic um, models and fantastic plans. But the thing that I noticed with the custom homes is that they are very detail oriented, not to take anything away from the other folks, because you know, I love those folks more than anyone. But at the end of the day, some of these custom builds, you just can see it has that wow factor. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these custom builds are going to be pricier than some of these other ones. But if you have the ability to purchase in that uh, price point, it certainly is worth it. Because a lot of times what you want to do is you'll end up picking your lot uh, and then going ahead and de designing it from start to finish. Really, you sit down uh, with the salesperson, come up with each and every square inch of your property and how you want to design. So let's say, for instance, if you love a particular floor plan with some of these track builders, but you know, you want the bedroom instead of on the left side, you want it on the right side. Well, a lot of these track builders may or may not accommodate that. Whereas a custom build, you'll certainly get that luxury. So that's one thing that a lot of folks absolutely love. So right here, we are going to have them get out the way. <laughs> This is gonna be your powder bath right here. You have the tile accent wall right there. The wood flooring extends as well. Now you do have these beautiful lighting fixtures. A lot of times we see them outside of the mirror. This is inside the mirror. We have the floating sink. Very nice, very unique. And then over, over here, of course, you could use this as a breakfast bar. And then you have your utility room right here. So you have this oversized, window right here you have the sink inside your utility room plenty of space for an oversized washer and dryer as we can see and just look at that so you can easily put your laundry detergent your fabric softener all that good stuff on top of the cabinetry have this very sleek and very nice but really just depends so inside of here this would be converted eventually into the garage but of course, um, right now we're gonna be using this as a meeting room since this is a model house. And the good thing is about this builder is that they are building in other locations. So if it's something where you, know, you want to take advantage of it and you wanna build in another location aside from Willis, which this one is in, then you can certainly do so. So really this is the model house and they want to really showcase what it could look like, the potential, some of the features, just really kind of show off their style. So going into your primary bedroom, wow. So you have the sitting area over there, which I love. You have tray ceilings. This is amazing. Look how much room you have in here. And can you imagine just sitting down with your morning coffee and just looking out to the backyard and just seeing probably a, you probably see a deer or two might just kind of get a good glimpse but gosh you really can't get much better than this folks look at that wow and i love the simple look inside of here very elegant very discreet but just it just screams luxury in my opinion even just from the bed frame unique nightstands haven't seen that type of tone but 
definitely unique. Now look at this. Wow. The full ensuite right here. You have your freestanding tub to the right. To the left, we're going to have the dual sinks, which I love. Now look at that. Look how tall these mirrors are. Almost pretty much floor to ceiling. They all look felt like that, you know, just because all the way to the top, that's one of the details that you see inside of here. And that's one of the things to pay attention to. Not to mention, look at this. You have your walk-in shower. The glass is floor to ceiling. So I said floor to ceiling for the mirror, you know, I'd say sink to ceiling. But right here, floor to ceiling glass. Wow. You have your brush nickel shower head and waterfall shower spout. Wow. And the one thing to pay attention to is look, they extended to the ceiling for the shower surround. So you have a tile, uh, tile ceiling right there. And just look at this. Wow. So the reason you might, I mean, some folks might wonder why in the world would they do so? I mean, if you look at it from a standpoint of the condensation and just the steam, if you look on top, that might be a, a challenge in other uh, models if you just have drywall on the top. But man, that's very unique. I love that. I haven't seen that whatsoever. So now going into our walk-in closet, look at this. We have a lot of space inside of here. It's not overly massive, but it certainly is nice. And that's the thing. This is a custom build. So if you need more space, we can certainly get that taken care of for you. If you want a his and hers closet, that certainly is an option. So really, we like to just showcase these properties just because you can see what is possible. But don't judge based on the size of this uh, closet because it, 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 there's other options for you. Obviously to the right is the toilet, but I just love this. I mean, I really can't get, you can't get much better than this. Look at that. Wow. And then of course right here, look at that. Look at that fountain outside. Wow. Can you imagine just that being your view? You really can't get much better than that. And I'll do one more quick pan of the primary. So I'd love to hear your thoughts as far as the staging is concerned and really the overall floor plan. Is that something that makes sense for you or would you change it around? But if you notice the clear story windows on top as well, letting in a lot of natural light, which is fantastic. So continuing along right here, we are going to have the next bedroom. We have the tray ceilings again, king size bed, two oversized nightstands again and just look at the amount of space right here so most folks would utilize this as a guest room so if that certainly is the case you can do so but you can even add a dresser over here if you wanted to really the possibilities are endless this is going to have a full size bathroom attached to it walk-in shower complete and just look at that you got tile flooring inside of here Same. Same thing with the tile shower surround again. And gosh, you can't get much better than this. And real quick, folks, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Always great to have you. And if this is your first time to the channel, my name is Marcus Rank and I am a Texas realtor. I get calls, texts, and emails every single week from folks looking to make a move out to Texas, regardless if it's Houston, Austin, Dallas, San Antonio. I get calls and you can reach out below so that way we can get you taken care of and book a call and see what makes sense for you. And consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd love for you to become a part of the Rankin family. And that way you don't miss a video when I drop it every week. Now, this looks like a mother-in-law's suite connected. So this is gonna be amazing if the mother-in-law's here. Look, full-size kitchen right here, stainless steel range hood we have the beautiful island right here which is perfect so just a mini kitchen in comparison to the other one so gosh if you have your mother-in-law here she got her own little sitting area right here you can come visit her and walk across the hall if you wanted to you got your nice windows right there as well and this would be her 
bedroom. So nice, and then a full-size bathroom attached to it again. Wow. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Now, you have your walk-in closet right here, so she's probably gonna be around for a while. And if you are a mother-in-law, we love you. Don't, don't even worry about it. We love you to death. Look, we got your own little section right here, so you will have access to the front. And if you recall, that was that quick access to the covered front porch right there where you can utilize that. But wow, absolutely love this. Look at the backsplash matching the quartz countertops. Nice. And then if I didn't open this one, you have a full size utility room in here. So man, that's nice. So she has her own section over there. You may need to charge some rent or mortgage to charge something so she can go ahead and contribute to the mortgage. But gosh, you have your own guest section over there. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the backyard. All right. So now this is gonna be our covered backyard patio. Wow, so you have your wood burning fireplace right here. You even have a mantle out here. That's the first time we've actually seen a mantle in an outdoor fireplace, which is unique. You got the stucco exterior that continues back here. You got the wood ceiling as well. It extends all the way over there. And look at that. Absolutely fantastic. You really can't get much better than this. Quite frankly, this may be a dream home. Let me know what you think. And look at that. So look how much space you have in between your neighbors. Right here, you have that nature light feel. Oh my goodness, you really can't get much better than that. But other than that, family, that was the beautiful Design Tech Homes. All right, folks, and I wanted to make sure that you got to see this upstairs area right here. This is gonna be a bonus room. There are just cubicles up here, but I really wanted you to just see what is possible. So this is gonna be the upstairs room. You can customize this to your own particular liking, but this would be a bonus room. You can use it as a game room, another media room, or anything that you wanted to do, you can certainly do so. But it's about 600 square feet up here just on the half story. So it just kind of gives you a basis of what we're looking like. And that is this bonus room. And then that would be the front yard right there. So you have that circular driveway and that's how we're looking. And then of course the garage would come in through here and underneath us is the garage. Right here would just be another closet. And that's what we're working with. All right, Rankin family. So that was Design Tech Homes right here, north of Houston and Willis. Now this was a complete custom build. Like I mentioned, it is possible to build this one or something similar and you can change it as you please. So if you want more information, reach out to the information below so you can book a call and I'll see you folks on the next property tour.